Today, I'll be taking not one, but two boats on my journey from Victoria, Canada to Concrete in Washington. There's mimosas on this ferry. This is a really good day. I'm headed to meet up with some friends for a multi-day hike we have planned. Can I leave my backpack? But that's getting a little ahead of myself. Let's jump back. My day starts on the coho. <laughs> Get you on the behind this U-Haul on the right here. Behind the U-Haul, thank you. Good morning. Hi there. Last name on the reservation. Ragsdale? Uh, 76 US is your total today. Would you like a car charging Canadian fees? Um, It'll be 103.35. What form here needs to be filled out for customs. They're gonna come to your vehicle and check your passports and everything. Okay, very good, thank you so much. In Victoria, there is this service, the Coho, which goes from Victoria to Port Angeles and so it's like a really fast way to kind of like get to the US if you don't want to have to take BC ferries to Vancouver and then drive over the border. I've only taken this ferry about three times. I figured why not this time I take you with me. Ferries seem to be my thing, boats seem to be my thing. I take you on a lot of boats so I'm just gonna show you another one. Once I filled out my forms, the custom officer eventually came by and asked me a few questions before telling me I needed to proceed up to the front to get my passport swiped. There they also just check how many people are in the vehicle and give you a number to put on your dashboard. From there, I returned to my car and uh, we began loading. So unlike BC Ferries, like there was like no PA announcement being like, everybody return to your vehicles, a bloody bloody blue. They just expected you to be in your vehicles and not wandering about. And they basically just started loading on cars. Like whoever was in their car, they started loading. And there was like someone at the front of the line that wasn't at their car. And so people were just like going around him. So yeah, I'm gonna grab everything that we're gonna need, rush to the cafeteria. Generally I wait, but for this, for some reason this morning, I am starving. So. Let's go. 12 seconds later. I had to come back because I almost forgot my phone. I'm gonna grab everything that we're gonna need. Um, the ferry is only 90 minutes, but you're not allowed back to your car once you leave, so make sure you bring all your stuff. It would have been fine. I would have been I would have managed an hour and a half without my phone, but you know, millennial. I love like the vintage aspect. It definitely has like, you know, like old hospital vibes almost, but that's just like because it's so old and from that area. And I love how they kept it too. So they didn't modernize a whole lot of stuff. The lineup for food was, it wasn't very long compared to the one on BC Ferries, but I was like, you know what, we're here for an hour and a half. Generally, if you give it half an hour, the, lot, the line completely dissipates, so I'm just gonna give it half an hour and then I'm gonna go get myself some food. So while we wait, I'm gonna be that person. And literally count all my change. Because here in Canada, we accept American coins and stuff uh, at like par, but in the US, I don't accept Canadian coins, so anytime I find an American coin in my wallet, I keep it. So I have a big mess right here. There's mimosas on this ferry. It's too early for a mimosa. For the rest of the boat ride, I actually talked to an Instagram follower. They had messaged me saying that they think they saw me on the boat and I said, you indeed did. So we met up and we chatted for the remaining time. So that went by rather quick. Um, I realized I never actually explained why I'm taking this ferry. Um, I am actually headed to uh, the North Cascades National Park. I'll be hanging with some friends and then from there, we're gonna be going on a multi-day hike. I will give them all my money to take me on a boat. I originally really, really wanted to get into Port Angeles and then go to Olympic National Park and be able to do some hikes and show you guys around Port Angeles. But since my mom broke her wrist, 
you know, I kind of had to change all my plans. We are literally pulling into the dock right now and um, then we're gonna start driving. What is the weight looking like? I think y'all makes about. Oh, okay. Come on, okay, lane eight. Lane eight, thank you so much. So I've made it to the Townsend Ferry, and so this ferry is gonna take me, well, near Anacortes, I guess you could say, and then from there we're gonna continue driving. But I'm not even gonna be able to get out to film because I literally pulled up and the boat's arriving. So this is a good day. This is a really good day. Um, I actually don't know how long this ferry is. Unlike the Coho, you're welcome to go, go to and from your vehicle. So um, we're gonna go up, use the washroom, walk around, and maybe come back and chill until we get there. The following message is an important safety announcement. For security reasons, we ask that passengers not leave any backpacks, luggage, packages, or other personal belongings unattended during this crossing. Upon arrival at our final destination, all passengers must disembark by the ship's office or ask any crew member. So it's a cute little ferry. It's only like, it was only like a 30 minute ferry ride. It's a newer ferry than the Coho. It's not as interesting. There's a lot of seating. Yeah, it was just like a cute, short little ride. So now, once we offload, we're gonna drive for about another hour. We're gonna make a stop at Deception Pass State Park. What is this, like, epic bridge? I believe there's more to do there, but obviously we're on a road trip, so we're just gonna make a quick stop there. I'm gonna visit some friends in Anacortes before we, um, you know, make it to our final destination. It's $10 for the day for the state park, or $30 for, I think it's the year it said, but I'm gonna be here for literally five minutes, so I'm gonna try to get away with it. I know, I'm being bad, I'm being bad. But if I was staying longer, absolutely, I'd be paying the $10. Well, I don't think that does, it does this park any sort of justice. I, you would need like a full couple days here to really explore, or at least a full day. But again, I got places to be. That was really cool, it's been on my list to go see. So uh, off to my friend's house. 10 minutes later, we made it. This is like a friend's house on the way to my friend's house and I just happened to be passing so I figured why not stop. Later. That was a heckin' good visit. We're gonna hit the grocery store and then we're gonna make it to our final destination. I am so excited. I am so excited. It's, it's a bunch of my friends that so we're getting together. People that I have introduced to the channel individually but now we're like all getting together and I just I am just I'm, I'm really excited. It's a really good group of people that I love so much. I'm really, I'm really excited because it feels real now. It feels real now, especially because all my plans have gone to shit this summer. Like everything that I had planned has literally gone to the wayside. And so the fact that this is sort of panning out well, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm actually letting myself get excited. So uh, grocery store and then we're done. It's a struggle. This one's actually been quite the struggle. Not good. Not good. I couldn't even bring myself to film. I was just feeling so overheated. This is truly one of the hardest things I've done in a really, really long time. Really until they wave you once, you're like, ah! Little things that I notice because I take so many ferries all the damn time. Excuse the shadow on my face. I think this is the best we're gonna do with the light that we have. Unless that does nothing, yeah. I'm a winner. Hello. 
Honey, I'm home. 